All right, let me read uh, Book of Romans chapter 1, several verses, okay? It's a very important portion. That's why I just repeat, okay? Read and read. For the servant of Jesus Christ called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God, with the power according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship, for obedience, for the faith among all nations, for his nation among whom are ye also the call of Jesus. Christ, to all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, you remember that, you know, first time we, first session, we talk about what is servant, right? Servant means kind of slave to Jesus Christ because he died for us, okay? He just purchased us, paying his blood, okay, to take away all our sins. And also, second session, we learn about the meaning of separation, right? First type of man is separated from God. You're going to hell. The second person is, even though they're saved, no job in the kingdom of God is only, you know, separated from the world only. You know, just quit smoking, quit drinking, quit drug, quit gambling, just quitting, quitting the things they used to do in, in the world, but not separated unto God. Not dedicated unto God, okay? Three type person. Apostle Paul, he confessed not only the servant of Jesus Christ, but also separated unto the grace, a gospel of God. And that means the reason, the purpose to live in the world is why to preach the gospel. His job, eternal job, is preaching the gospel, okay? Not you know doing business in in uh, in the earth. Why he, Apostle Paul, was separated unto the gospel of God. What is the gospel? Gospel of God, okay? The gospel is concerning his son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of seed of David according to the flesh. And that means he was born. God became a man in the bloodline of King David. All right? Actually, the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Moses declared to, the, to be son of God with power according to the flesh. He had, he had, he had to be a man. We have to learn why he, had, he became a man. Why Jesus Christ became a man made of a seed of David? Then what is Christ? What is Christ? Christ is not the second name, first name of Jesus. No. The Christ means something. Christ in Hebrew is, is a Messiah. Messiah is the king, Israel people, you know, waiting for several thousand years. But in English, it is Christ. The Christ is a job for just by Jesus. The Lord means He's God. The perfect name of Jesus is the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ has three kind of job. First one is prophet, and secondly is priest, and third is king. And those three jobs was anointed by God. All right, King David anointed with by God as a prophet. That's why he wrote the Psalms. All the book of Psalms, or ninety-nine percent, is a prophet talking about what to happen. Secondly. He took the bread in the tabernacle. That's why he, to, he just, you know, acted as a priest. And third, he became a king for Israel. That's why David is kind of perfect model of Jesus Christ to come. All right? Christ, which came in the name of Jesus, did perform as prophet when he was in the flesh in the earth. That's why he died. Same as, you know, all other prophets in Old Testament they preached the words of God, they all died, martyred. Jesus also 
preach the gospel, preach the words of God, you're rebuking people, you're a sinner, you change your life. You know, you turn back from your wicked life. That's why he was killed by the sinners. Now he is sitting at the right hand side of God as the high priest to intercede for our sin. He brought, he took all his blood, you know, when he lifted up into heaven sitting at the right hand side of God. Why he, you know, took all his blood. When we confess our sins, you know, he has to show his blood to Father God. I already paid for all kind of their sins already. Forgive them, cleanse them. That's why. That's why Christians, when they confess their sin, all sins, you know, forgiven, for all sins cleansed, but non-Christian, however they confess, nobody can receive, nobody can forgive their sins. That's why many people, you know, suicide, quit, commit suicide, you know, so much pain because their sin. But sooner or later, Jesus will come back to the earth to do his final ministry as a king because he's a Christ. He's anointed. As a king of kings and lord of lords, it is a millennium reigning. When he comes back, he will come back with a raptured saint. A born again Christian, as much as they do the ministry of Jesus Christ, they come with Jesus Christ and reign in the earth. Somebody reign ten cities, somebody reign five cities. No work at all. No power reigning. See? Then who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Nobody can teach you who is Jesus. Any other world in the book can teach anybody who is Jesus. They teach Jesus wrongfully. Jesus is a man. Jesus is a saint. You know, he's no God. He's a prophet. Muslims say that. But Bible says Jesus was a creator. The Bible says the word was in the beginning. The word with God. The word was God. And the Word became flesh, manifest in flesh. When he sees his glory, he glory of the only one begotten Son of God, full of grace and truth. He created heaven and earth with the Father God, Jehovah God, and Holy Ghost in the beginning. The three in Trinity, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, three in Trinity, one, made the man saying, they said to each other, one another, let us make man in our image. After our likeness, and let them have dominion of the fish of the sea, and of the fowl of the air, and of the cattle, and of the, all the earth, and of the, all the creeping things that creepeth upon the earth. Yeah. Our first forefather, Adam, and first foremother, Eve, were made as the king and queen reigning, in the earth. Okay, do you reign in the world? If you come, if you just, you know, come, come near to a lion, they, you know, the lion uh, bow down to you? No, they will eat you, you know, they kill you. No way. Why is that? All the creatures such as animals, the fishes and fowls and the creeping things are being you? No. Why? Why not? All those things were under control of man before man sinned, see? And the man was under control of God. It was the order of the whole universe. Relationship. That means all the creatures were supposed to obey man as long as man obeys God. But what happened? Man sinned by eating the fruit of knowledge of good and evil. But that means you know, man disobeyed God, disobeyed his word, okay? At the same time, the relationship between God and man was broken immediately according to the law of righteousness. God is love and God is righteous, see? This is the reason why man has to die because of sin. It's a matter of time before we die. We got to understand that many people know that, but never understand that. Even more than 90, 90 years old, you know, 
the old woman and man, when I visit convalescent hospital, oh, it's time for you to go to heaven. Then they say, no, I never die. Even they're old, you know, more than 90 years old. They still, they don't understand they die. They know they die, but they don't understand they die. It is deception of the devil, you know. Hey, you understand you die in the future? You never think about that, right? Now think about that. When you are little, you have to think about that. It is good for you. When you grow up, it's good for you. See? You know, Bible, you know, worldly proverbs say, good medicine is very bitter in the mouth. Same thing. Good words of God, real truth is very bitter in our ear. But we have to hear the words of God. The Bible says the ways of sin is death, says the Lord. But gift of God is life eternal in our Lord Jesus Christ. For man to be free from death, someone else should die for the sin of man. Because the ways of sin is death, right? It was a real dilemma because no man is righteous in the earth, including me. I cannot die for you. If no one man at all, because all man sinned and come short of the glory of God. All man sinned, no exception. Only way for man to restore the relationship with God, as well as with all the creatures, to reign in the earth again. Only one way is that God has, has to become a man. And he should die for the sin of the world, including all our sins. This is the reason why God had to become a man, in the likeness of a sinner to die for our sins. He died for our sins before we were born, 2,000 years ago. He knew what kind of sin you're sinning, you know, because he's God. And this is the reason why John the Baptist introduced Jesus Christ to the world, declaring, Behold the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. This is the reason why Jesus declared to the world, God so love you. The world. Love the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish in sin, right? But have everlasting life. What happened to him that believeth in him with all the heart, understanding his destiny as a sinner? And we have to understand, as a sinner, we have to understand what kind of destiny waiting for us. Sinning, 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 sinning. It's a death. Not only death of flesh, but a death of spirit forever. That means eternal separation from God. God is living God. God is life. God is truth. God is only way, if you are all our, our sins for not forgiven, you know, no way not to be separated from God forever. The hell is the place where people, you know, they are eternally separated from God. Very simply. That's the reason, you know, burning hell, because, you know, has to burn their soul, if not their smell. You know, when we trash, we just, you know, dump the trash where it go. You know, it's to be sent to some other place on the hill to be burnt because a lot of smell. To kill the smell has to burn, you know, that's the hell. You know, smelling soul should be burnt forever. But God doesn't want any one of us to go to hell. The hell is made for devil and his angels because they cannot repent. But we can repent, man can repent. What happened to him that believed in him with all the heart understanding his destiny as a sinner? Jesus spoke a Jewish man, his name Nicodemus. He said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. He really meant to him that the spirit of man should be revived. From the birth, our spirit, you know, death, 
unfortunately, because our ancestors, Adam and Eve, they sinned against God. In the DNA of them, in the blood of them, sin and death, you know, kind of is affected. That's why we are born in their DNA. It's our destiny. It's our worst destiny. It was our destiny. We have to change the destiny. Only way to change the destiny, only way is to believe in Jesus Christ. Because it hang on the tree. Whosoever hang on the tree is cursed. The Bible says that. There's some people, you know, commit suicide, hanging, and their neck is on the tree. As the Bible said, whosoever hang on the tree is cursed. All of us was born in the world from the flesh of mother's womb to live in the world until we die. Every man born from the body of mother. Unless our spirit will live again, we have to perish forever separate from loving God. We have to born again in the kingdom of God coming out of the world as we are born in the world coming out of a mother's body. Same thing. It's the second birth. Okay, first birth is mothers. Mothers from there's water, right? We are from water. As Jesus said, you know, flesh is from flesh, spirit is from spirit. We, our flesh was born from the flesh of our mother and father. We have to born again in the Holy Spirit. We have to born again how? But let the Holy Spirit born us. Our only reason, why, our reason, only way is that we have to confess we are sinners, really, it's sincerely, you know. I receive Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, give a birth as a son of God. At that moment, we are no more in the world. I'm not living in the world, you know. I live in the kingdom of God. My body is in the world. My spirit, my soul is already in heaven, you know. Speaking with God, you know, led by the Holy Spirit. So I'm so happy, joyful, you know that. Doesn't matter. Any kind of environment doesn't matter, you know. Affect a little bit, but you know, later on, no problem at all. Through prayer. That's the reason we have to born again in the kingdom of God. We have to come out of the world exactly as Israel people came out of Egypt to go to Canaan, new land, holy land. Same thing. But unfortunately, many people, many people in the church, they're still in the world, not born again. They're still doing the same thing as what the people are doing. They're doing the same thing. They lie. They steal. You know. They commit suicide. They commit you know, fornication, drinking and smoking, whatever, or bad habit. Continue to do that. I used to doing that 20 years, you know. Even I go to church. But when I born again, when I born in the kingdom of God, I quit all of those things because I that no more in the world, you know that? I quit my God play. I used to you know, play God for 10 years. I quit it. Oh, the time is money, you know, I had to spend more than 10 hours, you know, to play God. Yes, bad habit. It's all things in the world. Bible says of the reason why God became a man in the name of Jesus, God appeared to the world as a man with blood and flesh like us, so that through his death he might destroy him that had the power of death that is called the devil. Jesus Christ came to the earth to destroy the devil because the devil brought the sin to the heaven and brought the sin to the earth. That's why Jesus said pray like this, you know. Thy kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven. When Jesus Christ lifted to the heaven, sitting at the sign of God, he just expelled the devil from the third, third heaven. He's now in second heaven in the universe. And in tribulation, after we're raptured, he will come down to the earth, and under the earth it shall be just like, you know, wilderness. Nobody can endure the tribulation, you know. That's why we must be born again to be raptured. If not, big trouble. The Bible also warning us saying, He that committed sin is of the devil. 
Even though you are sinner, you, you are a Christian, whenever you sin, you just belong to the devil at the time. That's why you hear his, his voice and follow him. What a, what, a mis, what a miserable thing it is. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God, Jesus, was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. What is the works of the devil? The devil has the power as sin and death. The devil want to make you sin and you die. The works of the devil. That's why Jesus Christ appeared here as a man to destroy the sin and death. How destroy the sin? He took all the sin of the world on his flesh. When he nailed, you know, on, his, you know, on the cross, our sins, you know, our sins judged him. His soul went down to the hell. He dumped out all sins already. And he rose again the third day. For several believe in him, he gave you the Holy Spirit. You know that? Yeah, this is called the grace. What? Meaning of Jesus. He's the one who saved his people from sin. That's why Jesus spoke to the Jew. First you can seek the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. What that means. Everyone born in the world has to first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. They have to enter the kingdom of God. How? Only through the righteousness of God. We are all sinners. Jesus took all our sin. When he died. That means, you know, this is was my book. Black book is all the, all the list of my sins, you know, for my 64 years old, okay? Here, the name of Joseph's song over here. See? When I believe Jesus Christ died for my sin, all in my heart, confessing my sins, repenting my sins, God changed the name of this book, Jesus. His book, white color, his book, on the his book, white color, no sin, name is Joseph's song. It is grace, you know that. It is a real righteousness of God. That's why, that's why the sin is not believing in Jesus. Only one sin left in the world. All sins forgiven already. Somebody believe in Jesus. That's it. That's what Jesus said, I am the way and truth and life. See? With our righteousness, you're doing good things. We are just a trash can. Trash can, however, try to, you know, polish outside of trash can. Still, smelly, you know, kind of stink in, in the trash can inside. Nobody can take it out. Nobody clean it. If somebody make the trash can of gold, still in the gold trash can, still a lot of... Still, you know, stink things in there already. You know, fornication, wicked man, blasphemy, you know, idolatry, all the things inside of man. They know it themselves. But they pretend not to know that. Only thing is, I'm a sinner. Joe, we'll have to give our sin to him. He gave us grace. Eternal life. That's the, that's the way I received eternal life. Since then I became the slave of Jesus Christ. Whatever he asked me. You quit your job, I have to quit my job. Even if a family doesn't want it, I have to quit my job. Because I became his slave. Because he died for my sin. In my family, second priority. You know, Jesus Christ is my first priority. This is the servant of God. See? All the Christians must be like that. Christian means Christ and I am. I am. I am nothing. To follow me, you have to deny yourself. And take up your cross and follow me. Somebody follow me without taking his cross. Not worthy of me. Not worthy of me. The first thing for all men is to seek. After birth is to enter the, into the kingdom of God. To be the children of God. To be family of God. You know, if you're family of God, no worry. He knows what we need. And Jesus said, don't ask what you need. It shall be added unto you. You believe in me, follow me. See? 
That's the reason man must be born again of the Spirit, believing in the righteousness that he died for our sins and rose again the third day for us to give us eternal life again. And this is the reason why Apostle John testified. He said that as many as received him, Jesus, to them gave the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name, which were born not of the blood. I was born in the blood of song. The name of blood is song. You are mean. You are bad, see? Not of blood anymore. No, not a, no more natural man, bi biological man. Nor of the will of the flesh. Your parents, you know, getting married each other. Oh, we just, you know, give both our children to live happily. Right? No more will of the flesh. No more of the will of man. Oh, let us have a son instead of a daughter. Oh, it is the will of man. You know that? No more will of man. But we're born of God. See, that's the why Jesus, uh, God the Father is Father. That's the way Jesus Christ is our brother. Jesus Christ used to be only one begotten son of God. He is no more one begotten son. He is the eldest son. He's the eldest brother. Because I'm his brother, you're his, your brother too. If you are born again. See? Jesus said, you're my friend. We can be friends, see? We just sang, sang a song, right? Saying, friend of Jesus Christ. We must understand what's the gospel. We must understand why Jesus, God became a man. Many people don't believe it because they don't think they are a sinner. See? Amen. Let's bow down, okay? Let's bow down our head. Father, we heard the, the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul understood all the gospel of Jesus Christ and he dedicated his life. He was separated unto the gospel of God. Lord, let us understand the gospel of Jesus Christ. Really understand in our heart so that we may follow you. If anybody not born again here, Holy Spirit touch them and so let them understand they are sinners before God. Even though not sinner before man, we are before God all sinner. Lord, Holy Spirit, touch them, anoint them, give them understanding and wisdom. When they are little, when they are young, they understand your words so that they may be separated unto the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not only separate from the world, but also separated unto God. And so they may reign with Jesus when come back to the earth with Jesus Christ. Let them see even tires and lions and bears bear down before them after a relationship with Jesus Christ restored. A relationship between us and all the creatures restored in the earth. That's the reason why King David said, you prepare the table in the sight of the devil enemy. When he come back to the earth, we'll see that, Lord. The Psalm 23 shall be done when he come back. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's time for offering. Okay.